Well, well, well. After the first two weeks of the season, I was kind of feeling like, eh, about my picks. A lot of unpredictability, uh, just some bad picks in general. A couple of eight and eight weeks. I'm like, ooh, I don't know how well I'm going to do this year. Well, I've definitely picked it up the past few weeks. Week three, I went 11 and five. Then week four, I went eight and five. And week five, I went da -da -da -da, 12 and three, my best week of the season. 80% of my picks panned out to be correct. And if I wouldn't have went with the homer in me and picked the Bears over the Panthers, even though I fully believed the Panthers were going to win the game, I could have went 13-2. and two. But I'm feeling much better about myself. Season to date, I'm at 47-29. and 29. I don't know how I compare it against some of you guys, but I can imagine I'm doing pretty well at this point. But still a lot of season left and a lot of picking left to do. So let's dive right into it. Here are my picks for week number six of the 2014 NFL season. All of them are also in the description box down below, along with my record so far to season, this season and each week to date. All right, let's start off with the Thursday night matchup. Well, let's pray to God, most importantly of all, that this game doesn't totally suck. Let's hope that Indianapolis taking on Houston ends up being a good game. Let's really hope so. That's what I want to see more than anything else. In terms of this matchup, you've got the Texans with a top-flight NFL defense, um, with one of the best running games in the league with Arian Foster, a nice combination of wide receivers and Andre Johnson, DeAndre Hopkins. The problem is, is that Ryan Fitzpatrick is their quarterback. Look, the Colts have lost two games this season, but they've won their last three. Their two losses were quality losses to the Broncos and the Eagles in very close fashion at that. The Texans hung tough, found a way to force their game last week with the Cowboys into overtime in Dallas. Uh, but I look at this and I say right now I think the Texans – aren't as good of a team as the Indianapolis Colts. I think the Colts have the better quarterback. I think they have more working for them. I think they have more momentum. And I'll pick Indianapolis to beat the Texans on Thursday night. Now we move on to the Sunday games. Uh, I'm not making the mistake with Chicago again this week. I'm taking Atlanta over Chicago. Matt Ryan is better than Jay Cutler. The Falcons are tough to beat in Atlanta. Furthermore, this is a revenge game for Devin Hester. I imagine the Bears are either going to go so out of their way to try and take him out of it that it screws some things up. Um, or what else could happen is Devin Hester could be motivated and he could have a huge game. Either way, while Atlanta's defense isn't very good, Chicago's is just as bad, and Atlanta's offense is better. So give me Atlanta over Chicago. Who would have thought that in Week 6, New England and Buffalo would be 3-2 and two and tied for first place in the AFC East, huh? Interesting matchup. Uh, I'm going to take the Patriots because I think what we saw last week is them starting to figure some stuff out. I'm still not that sold that Kyle Orton was the right move for the Buffalo Bills to make, and frankly, the whole narrative would be entirely different if the kicker for the Lions last week, Alex Henry, didn't miss three field goals in that Week 5 matchup. I'm going to take Cincinnati over Carolina, even though it sounds like A.J. Green's not going to play in Week number 6. I will take Cleveland over Pittsburgh. I'm going to pick a bit of an upset here. I don't know. I don't think it classifies as much of an upset. I'll take the Jaguars over the Titans to win their first game of the season. It's going to happen at some point in time. I can't see the Jaguars losing all 16 games. At some point in time, they got to win one. At some point in time, I'm probably going to have to pick them. So what better time than now? The Titans aren't very good. Neither are the Jaguars. Perfect opportunity for the Jaguars to break into the winning column in 2014. I'll take the hot and rolling Green Bay Packers over the Miami Dolphins who are coming off of a bye. I'll take Minnesota over Detroit. And the reason being is Detroit is Detroit. And I don't know how well they're going to play on the road, especially if Megatron is severely limited or might not even play. The Vikings will have Bridgewater back. They're going to want to get the taste out of their mouth from what happened uh, against Green Bay on Thursday night. So I'm going to take the Vikings over the Lions. I'll take the Broncos big over the Jets. I'll take the Ravens over the Buccaneers. I'll take San Diego huge over the Oakland Raiders. I'll take Arizona over the Washington Redskins. Then to me, the key the kind of Sunday afternoon matchup has to be the Dallas Cowboys traveling to Seattle to take on the Seahawks. This is when you're going to find out a lot about the Dallas Cowboys of Week 6. At 4-1, and one, people are starting to wonder, are they for real? Are they not? The fact of the matter is they really haven't beat uh, many quality teams so far. Even the 3-2 and two Texans aren't that quality of a team. They're kind of one-dimensional in many ways. Um, but this is going to be a great test for the Cowboys. Now, is it out of the realm of possibility that they could go into Seattle and beat them? No, absolutely not. This is a team that controls the clock. This is a team that runs the ball incredibly well, protects their quarterback very well with that offensive line loaded with former first-round picks. 
The Dallas Cowboys are a type of team that could go into a Seattle and beat the Seahawks. They could. I'm not picking it to happen. I'm still going to pick the Seahawks to beat the Cowboys. But would I be that incredibly surprised if the Cowboys stuck a real game to the Seahawks and found a way to perhaps even win it? No, I would not. If the Cowboys go into Seattle and they play the Seahawks tough and they hold in there throughout and they either beat them or lose in a close fashion, then that means you can start thinking about the Cowboys as a little bit more of a legit real team. This is a real t test for them in Week 6, a real indicator of who they are or won't be. The Sunday night matchup, I can't wait for this one. You've got the 3-2 and two Giants taking on the 4-1 and one Philadelphia Eagles. You know, the Eagles right now, they might be in first in that division, but and they might be 4-1. and one. They might have a better record than the Giants. But to me, their wins are coming kind of based off of fluky ways. You know, special teams touchdowns, defensive touchdowns. And at some point in time, that well is going to dry up. The truth of the matter is that Eagles offense hasn't been that good this season, especially over the past couple of weeks. Foles has played like an average, if not mediocre, starting quarterback. That offensive line that is already injury-ravaged has not protected him very well, has not blocked that well in the running game. And frankly, LaShawn McCoy so far through five games has looked like a, a shady form of his former shady self. Uh, he needs to step it up and play like the franchise back, the elite back that he proclaims himself to be, that he is viewed to be, that he is supposed to be. At this point in time, I think the New York Giants look to me to be the more balanced and more complete team. Eli is playing better. The Giants' offense as a whole is playing better. I think their defense is playing better. So I think the Giants are going to be able to go into Philadelphia on Sunday night and hand it to the Philadelphia Eagles. And then in terms of the Monday night matchup, I'm going to take the 49ers over the St. Louis Rams. You know, and this is a type of matchup where you can take divisional records out of the mix. Um, Austin Davis is playing better at quarterback for the Rams. Colin Kaepernick is kind of playing a little better, but still hasn't taken the steps and the progression that I was anticipating him taking in 2014. But I look at this matchup and I see a 49ers team that can run the ball really, really well and a Rams team that really struggles to stop the run. That's a key matchup. If the 49ers come out early and they establish Frank Gore and maybe to a lesser degree Carlos Hyde, they establish a physical identity, they take control of the game, um, in terms of approach and attitude and physicality, and then they're going to find a way to make sure they handle business and beat the Rams on Monday night, and that's what I anticipate happening. I can hope I can match last week's 12-3. and three. We'll see. We'll see. But let me know what your picks are for week number six, what I might be right or wrong about. Let me know how you did against me last week or season today. I want to see all that stuff in the comments. Let me know, guys.